Hello guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, and I'm back with another video. Today we have another book mail. Yep. Um, I promise there's going to be a review soon. I'm almost done. Welcome to the Splatter Club. Uh, very, very fun anthology, by the way. Um, it's just I'm a little nervous to do my next review because I haven't done one without Chester in a long time. So, but I'm looking forward to doing the review. Um, and yeah. But uh, today is not about a review. Today is about two books that I got in the mail and I'm going to share them with you. So the first book we have here is The Cannibals of Candyland by Carlton Mellick III. And I'll read the synopsis for you guys. So here we go. Uh, there exists a race of cannibals who are made of out of candy. They live in an underground world filled with lollipop forests and gun drop goblins. During the day, while you are at, away at work, they come above the ground to prowl the, our streets for food. Their prey, your children. They lure young boys and girls to them with their sweet scent of bright colorful candy coating them, then rip them apart with razor sharp teeth and claws. When he was a child, Franklin Pierce witnessed the death of his siblings at the hands of a candy woman with pink cotton candy hair. Since that day, the candy people have become his obsession. He has spent his entire life trying to prove that they exist. And after discovering the entrance to the underground world of the candy people, Franklin finds himself venturing into their sugary domain. His mission? Capture one of them and bring it back, dead or alive. Cannibals of Candyland is an erotic horror story for the bizarro reader. Dark, disturbing, and absurd. This isn't the board game version of Candyland you used to play as a kid. And then it has stuff like uh, the bizarrocentral.com and stuff like that. But yeah, I saw this on Uptown uh, Horror Reviews review and uh, his channel. And uh, I saw his review and I was like, that sounds like a really fun book actually. So I went ahead and got it. Now this is not a brand new condition, obviously. This is like an old one. Um, but I'm looking forward to reading this a lot. Um, this dude has a lot of books out there. So he bumps them out like crazy. But um, I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, don't know when I'm gonna get around to it, but definitely it's someone that I really wanna check out after seeing Uptown Horror Review's review of it. Um, so yeah. And then next, it's by the same author, Carlson Mellick III, and this is Never Day. Odd book size, but you know, it's whatever. Now this one has a long synopsis, so... woo -wee! Get ready for this. Um, Never Day. Carl Liebeck has been repeating the same day over and over again in a constant loop for what feels like a thousand years. He's been stuck in this endless cycle for so long that he don't, doesn't remember what his life was be like before time stopped moving forward. He doesn't remember his parents' faces or what he used to do for a living. He doesn't remember which president is currently in office or what city he lives in. The only reason he remembers his own name is because it's printed on his Oregon State driver's license. He thought he was the only person trapped in this eternal hell until a woman named January appears in his backyard one morning, fleeing armed pursuers who claim to be th with the police. She doesn't know why today is exactly the same as yesterday. She doesn't realize she's trapped in the same loop as Car that Carl's been stuck it within it for so many centuries. But it turns out that Carl and January aren't alone. In fact, the majority of them of the population has been repeating the same day just as they have been. While Carl was hiding isolated in his suburban home, he didn't realize that the new world was being built just outside of the door, his door, his door. Bleh. Society has adopted into repeating the same day over and over again. New laws have been implemented. A new memory based currency has been put into place. Carl and January find themselves in a therapy group with others who people who are having a difficult time dealing with their situation. From hospital patients with illnesses that will never be cured to parents who will never see their children grow up. But there's something not quite right about those in charge of the new repeating government. They don't understand why in going into the never day 
that time period that only exists if you stay awake all night to avoid repetition is considered the worst possible crime anyone can commit. With the help of others who share their suspicions that something is not quite right with their situation, Carl and January explored the Never Day in search of answers. But when what, what they discover could destroy the very fabric of their new society forever. And this is an Eraserhead Press book. So I guess that's why it's so, uh, you know, uh, odd shaped. Well, this book is 184 pages long and it's short and stout. And I'm looking forward to reading this one, probably more than Cannibals of Candyland because the, I just like the premise a lot. It reminds me of Groundhog's Day or Happy, I, I haven't read, uh, the I haven't or watched the, uh, I think it's a Happy Death Day or something like that. I haven't watched that one or Happy Death Day too, but uh, I hear this is uh, gonna be a lot of fun. This, this The whole time stopping thing sounds a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to reading it. So, and I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of stuck between the two books, you know, because part of me wants to read Never Day. The other part of me loves what, uh, um, loves what this book is about, you know, and it's only 151 pages long. So, but this one's more shorter so that, you know, like, look at this, you know, so you get like a paragraph more out of each page when you read Candyland, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm looking forward to both reads. Um, Carlton Mellick the third sounds like a really good author. Um, I know I'm looking forward to reading his stuff. Um, I'm also reading a bunch of other stuff at the moment. Um, it started snowing, so I was thinking about picking up a, a, a book that has to do with the snow after Welcome to the Splatter Club, of course. Um, I don't know which one I will read. Probably Father's Little Helper, but I really feel bad for not finishing Bloodkin by Ronald Kelly. Um, I really want to get through that book. Uh, it's a really good book. I don't have to get through it, but you know what I mean. Um, hopefully this is recording, by the way. Um, that would really suck if I went this whole video staring at a camera and it's not recording. It's happened so many times before, so hopefully, cross my fingers that this one's actually recording. But uh, those are the books that I got today. Um, I'm currently reading Welcome to the Splatter Club. And I'm hoping to start a new novel soon, uh, reading a novel that is, uh, but I'm not sure. I recently wrote a uh, short story, which is kind of splatterpunk, not really, but kind of. Um, I have an artist making an image for it, and I'm going to send it to a publisher soon. Um, I like to make, like, get images for my short stories and then uh, send them out to publishers, so... I got a new artist this time I'm working with, and I might work with him again for a, a, a novella that I'm working on called Space Waste. Um, and yeah, but uh, that has been my book mail, Cannibals of Candyland by Carlton Mellick III and Never Day by Carlton Mellick III. Uh, very awesome author I hear. Um, I'm just looking forward to this book like a lot, like both of these books. Um, and they're very quick reads, so I might read these sooner than later. Um, probably gonna read Cannibals of Candyland first, now that I think about it. But um, and then I can review it on my channel, and people can get like a uh, get you know with the program because Uptown Horror Reviews did a review, so you should obviously go buy the book, you know. But uh, maybe I'll re read Never Day instead, so there's more variety of Carlton Mellick's reviews out there. Um, this one just sounds really, <laughs> sorry, really, really good. Um, and I'm looking forward, forward to reading it soon. Sorry about the cough, by the way. Um, but Father's Little Helper at the same time, I've read 100 pages of that book and I really should get back into it. Um, I should really finish Bloodkin, really, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, but that's all I have for you today. I think this is like the third time I'm saying this, but uh, yeah, this is all I have for you today. Um, just these two books. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night and I'll catch you in the next video, which may be a tag video. I'm thinking about doing, uh, what's it called? Uh, I forget what the tag's called, but my buddy uh, Working Man's Reads did it. So yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.
time become death, the destroyer of worlds.